Hi, Donna and Tina. Thank you guys for stopping in today. Hey, Bobby. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. I was just reading your post. I'm thinking about you, my friend. So, good morning. Hi, Denise. I'm going to just um, pop on and show you, as you can see, all these bazillion things I have here. As you can see, a lot of the things are still in their cases. So, I'll explain this in one minute. And there might be some things in here that are um, retired or potentially in the clearance rack. But... I figured it'd be easier just to hop on. Good morning, Diana. I know, I got notified too. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> All right, so I told you guys yesterday I was going to share this. This is the Christmas countdown kit. So I got mine on Tuesday, I believe. And you can see there's, <clears throat> excuse me, some old DSP in here that I cut up. And then I kind of found like a few scraps from yesterday's projects laying around. But this is the kit. It comes with all these little boxes. So you have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, you have 25 boxes. <laughs> Obviously, it's a Christmas countdown kit, Rachel. Duh. That, I'm a little slow to the upkeep sometime, apparently, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, when you get this kit, let me just move this back. Still didn't clean up from yesterday, and that may be sh shocking to some of you. But when you get this kit, it comes with this little um, package. So it shows you, you know, how you can assemble it and everything. There's a lot of cute stuff in here. It comes with these little punched out decorative pieces you can put on your directly on. You could also, if you wanted to, flip them over and you could um, use some of our letter alphabet stamps and stamp stuff on them if you wanted to. But it's got lots of decorative stuff in here. Most of this stuff I'm not going to use because I'm going to do my kit differently. So it's got stickers and all kinds of stickers actually stickers and then your numbers and then it has like a little instruction book on how you can zhuzh it up so it's really pretty but when we got our catalog this month I should say our magazine for um, demonstrators they send you these catalogs and I thought this was the coolest idea because I could totally use this so they gave you another idea to use Let's see if you can see that with the lighting to decorate your boxes and you could do embellishments so hold your embellishments in it so I thought I was going to share this with you guys because I thought this was the most adorable thing so you can get the kit currently it's still available so I want to make sure of that but I think if a lot of people see this it could very well sell out so um, it's $30 for the kit you get everything that's included so it has the numbers and all the stuff that you see here and then if you wanted to make it into what I want to do with it you could either do one of two things. So if you have like lots of DSP that is say your favorite paper pack that you bought, you could actually cut these out. These are about two and I think they're like two and 15 sixteenths square. I'm sorry, one, one and 15 sixteenths square. So what I did was I ended up cutting just a little piece of um, DSP. This was that retired DSP that we had last year. Hold on, I still have it handy here. I'll tell you what it's called. I loved this paper. It was so pretty. Painted Seasons. And I thought just to make something a little bit more decorative would be cool. Now they did use the Gather Together paper to decorate their box with. So you figure this is all in total not 12 by 12 so you could use one sheet and cut it out and decorate a box so it's not like you'd be using that much paper so I just kind of thought for some of them what I'll do is I'll add these little leftover pieces and maybe like add something to it and then what I'm going to do is I have all these embellishments some of them I got off the clearance rack and I'll like send these to people so these are the year of cheer embellishments so a lot of times I will keep them and send them to someone but the ones that I use so like these are the snowflake trinkets they were really fun but ones that I use what I thought I will do to basically use them a little better is I'm going to do what they did so I have the sail away trinkets for example so since this one has a string on it I'll add that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add both of these on here either with a dimensional or with a glue dot and then what I'll do is I'm going to pour the rest of them inside so I'm going to do a couple of them so you guys can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out five of the boxes set this on the side. I'm just going to pick five random pieces. So I have one, 
to because it does have a few different patterns in case I didn't show you it has four these have a little gold foil accent and then you get four of each so four trees four of this it's like a green stripe and then with wood this one has a little um, star embellishment a Christmas tree I do like the ones that are just plain wood as well so I'm gonna do one so that's five so we'll do those so what I did is I have these pieces of um, DSP so I'm gonna kind of just like make a couple of them a little bit exciting I guess we'll say so too much math for this morning you're so cute that's funny only because I used to be really good at math and then when I stopped adding things I kind of lost it a little bit but I tell you what being crafty is really good for math <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. Now, if you wanted to put it on maybe with something in case you wanted to change up your paper, you could always use a different type of an adhesive. But I'm just going to put Fast Fuse on so I know it stays. So we'll do that with one. This one. And the cool thing is, too, if you like your boxes to match, that's why you could use one whole sheet of DSP if you wanted to. You could do this for... Um, like when you run out of stuff then, so we could put this one across that, but I'm going to leave this one blank. But you could um, swap them out. You could even if you wanted to, like if you were, say, a demonstrator that was going to do this with bringing it to your party, you could actually do one side regular, and then you could decorate the other side of the boxes as well. And then if you had like holiday embellishments, you could put it on the back side and you could flip the box around because all you'd have to do is turn it around. So that just came to me in this moment. Which is, again, another reason why I absolutely love doing these Facebook Lives because it forces me to think on the spot. And sometimes that's when I come up with my best ideas. I'm going to add a little paper to this one. And I'm also trying to think of an idea for the Rainbow Stampers birthday card. I have not made it yet. And our theme this year is pirates, which I did make him an adorable card. I don't think I have it handy or I'd show you guys. I think it's down the hall. But I made him a really cool one the first year with the owl um, the owl punch. That was actually his first birthday, believe it or not, was pirate themed as well, which is kind of funny. But I'm trying to think of something. This year he's more of a grown-up pirate, so I'm trying to find a good idea. I feel like I had one more. Oh, look, I put this one on double side. So if you wanted to, you could double side that one. Let me grab one more. And I'll put a piece across this. And then what I'll do is once I actually finish this, I will post a picture of the full finished product on my blog. But it's going to take a little bit. And I cannot guarantee I'll get it done today because I'm supposed to be cleaning. Because I have Stamp Club tonight. And um, his party is Saturday, so <laughs> not sure what I can get done. But for these, for these trinkets here, what we'll do is I'm just going to put these on a mini dimensional. And again, you could use a glue dot because I would say you could definitely glue these down. However, I'm going to tell you if it gets down to the last one and I want this ship wheel, I am going to peel it off and use it. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to put it on there with anything that's going to be too permanent. Only because I know how I am, so I'm going to pull it off. They, when they have them in this book that they sent us, it kind of looks like they might have um, put theirs on with glue. So I'll say just like that. And then all you're going to do is you'll take your trinkets. That way you could use these for like paint if you want to hold your uh, refills to use them for watercolors. And you just dump them in. I feel like I have another bin. Here's another bin. These were really popular at a party, so I had to buy two sets of them. So you could save these if you wanted to, or you could recycle them. But you could also use these. I'm going to show you one other thing I use these for. You can use these if you wanted to um, do some watercoloring in. So you could put like a drop in and some watercolor. It makes a nice watercolor, plus it doesn't spill since it has an edge. And then another thing I'll show you. Let me find those. Where are they? These, <laughs> these are the garage elements. I actually did end up using all of those, I think. These are those little balls. Hold on, I'll show you exactly what I mean. And you have to be careful because some are clear and some are not. But these, you know how these come in purses? Like in purses and tennis shoes and pretty much everything. Well, if you pull this off and you dump them out. I usually dump them separate because sometimes they're not clear. Sometimes they're tan. So you can have these. So you can use these as an additional shaker element. So if you had a card and you really didn't have... Say if you had a few things but not a lot, you could put these in. Because they do 
shake really well. But the other thing that's neat about this, and I'll use one of these that was empty. Where did I put it? Here it is. So if you have these, so this is the one that goes with this lid. And say you needed some that were like a certain color. So what you can do is, we'll take this as Call Me Clover. And you just put a drop of this in. Doesn't need to be a lot. Put a drop of ink refill in. And this is like a three for one video today. And you put the lid on and then you shake it. And then, now it does need time to dry. But then you'll have little balls that could be used for a shaker that are colored to whatever color that you need. So you could keep these in then and keep them. So these were the um, Call Me Clover green ones, but I am gonna leave this open so it actually it does at least dry. So you could use these for Christmas things for a shaker. I saw somebody do this once and I thought it was the best idea. So now I also have a whole container full of <laughs> these things as well. So I wouldn't necessarily say to glue those to the front of this, but I guess if you really wanted to, you could. But you could also do, what is the other fun thing we had here? You could do brads. So if you have, like, even if you wanted to just do one brad, because you don't really need to do all the colors that you have in there, unless you really can't remember, which that could be me, so I'm not judging. So what I would do is I would pick up a two glue dots, kind of put them together, and then you want to kind of wad them up into a cylinder. And then what I would do is stick this on like that. That way it's got a little space, and then you could just attach could even turn this a little bit sideways so you know you could attach your brad on there so you know that's going to be the brads that have the little button hole and then just pour the rest of them in there now if you were worried that you thought that was only copper you could put one of the silver and one of the gold on there as well but that's another one that you could do um, a while back we also had the galvanized clips so the cool part about this if you wanted to is you didn't even have to put this on the front you could just clip this onto your I've never used these before. I'm not sure how much they separate, but you could clip this onto your front here. So then you would know that was a little clip and then you could pour the rest of your clips in there. We also have, I do have some of these left, not many. The classic, the, uh, whoop, the wrenches and the keys. Do the same with that. I would do these with a glue dot as well. Again, only because I would like to Probably I'm going to reuse them. So we'll put that there and then we'll grab a wrench. Okay. And then pour those in. So the neat thing is then you'll have all these things that you'll be able to see what's in them. You can just pull out your drawer, grab what you need. You could take this, you know, if you had, uh, again, if you had parties, because this will, it is very sturdy. I will tell you, it is a little bit heavy. So you could take this, you could put all of your stuff in. You take this downstairs and you could tell, okay, everybody who's going to decorate your card, you can pick one embellishment from the top row, or you can even actually fit, believe it or not, these in here. So if you wanted to use your... Maybe your paints, and I will put this so it's standing up. So you could maybe put like a little piece of uh, white cardstock with a swash of the shimmer gold paint, and that way you could have those in there. So maybe it would kind of get them out of the way a little bit. But lots of cool ideas for this. You could even go so far as to decorate the outside if you wanted to with some DSP. Just want to make sure that you do keep it upright because you could lay it flat. So that wouldn't be a problem. You just lift it upright to pull it out. But if you turn it upside down, they could fall out, potentially fall out the top. But I thought this was such a neat idea and definitely a great idea for sharing. So I have tons more embellishments that I can do for this. And for this one, I would put one of each. That way I remember there was two different shapes of leaves and they also were two different colors. But I think it's such a cool way to actually see what you have. And then the other thing you could even do is if you have a lot of retired stuff, as you see I do, you could put maybe the retired stuff at the bottom and put the current stuff at the top. That way you could reach for it. And then as it moved around, so if these retired, you could take this out into an empty space, 
move this up for a new space, but I think this is such a cool idea. I really love this. So I hope this was useful to you all. And I am, like I said, I'm going to definitely finish decorating the rest of these. And then I will post a full picture on my blog. And thank you to whoever the person was at Stampin' Up! that sent this in the Stampin' Success magazine that thought it would be a good idea because I think it is super duper cool. A great way to be able to see all the embellishments that you have and be able to have them at your fingertips, especially even if you have like a, a limited craft space because this is not really particularly deep so again even with all the stuff to it this is only it's about it's less than two and a quarter inches deep so that's not really terrifically deep and that's about 11 and a quarter inches long so you can fit a lot of stuff in here really without hogging up a whole lot of space because you could put it flat up against something so, I thought this was a great idea that if I loved it, and let me tell you, I do not buy kits because I tend to not really either like that I don't, I either don't finish them, which also means I don't start them, or I get it and then after I open it, I'm kind of like, well, it just wasn't as exciting because you guys know I like to do things that are just off the cuff and a lot of times doing something step by step for me just isn't as fun but I when I saw this with the embellishments I thought I have to share this because this is a great way to keep your stuff organized so I hope you all found this helpful you can get this in my online store again like I said it is still in stock I don't know how long it will stay in stock because if a lot of people finally do get to this part of the magazine and realize it's a great way to organize that might be going out of stock fast but it's 150703 and it is uh, a $30 purchase and they send you everything in the kit like I said it is sealed it does come with all the stuff so you could totally decorate it for Christmas you could even decorate it for Christmas for now and then when whoever you get to gets tired of it you could take your boxes out turn them around and you could put them in the other way now one thing you would have to remove whatever embellishment obviously or else your drawer isn't going to stick go in quite as far but if you think it's something that when you're done with the Christmas part, you could just flip it around and then use it for yourself for crafting. So actually it would serve two purposes. <laughs> so thank you guys so very much for stopping in today. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. I will definitely see you. It won't be Monday because Monday's Rainbow Stamper's birthday and I'm going in for lunch duty. So probably Tuesday, but definitely Wednesday and maybe Thursday. You never know. Thank you all so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, you can always shoot me an email at reachthestamper at gmail.com. You can get all of these supplies and more in my online store which is reachthestamper.stampinup.net and as always you can find me here on Pinterest on Instagram on YouTube at reachthestamper thanks guys for watching have a great day